Today we are bringing you a French cake recipe that has been around for centuries. Hello and welcome to another Vintage Day. We've had a lot of people ask about our recipes, so I thought I'd bring in my husband who does a lot of the cooking in the house. He happens to be French and um, we take some of his recipes and some of my family recipes from here um, in the northern part of the United States and see what we can come up with. And today we decided to try a really old recipe from our neighbors where we lived in France and it's called Pitivers Fondant. No, it's not. <laughs> it's called a Pitivier Fondant. If we're going to do that. Yeah, it's very good. Really good. The ingredients you will need today are butter, almond flour, sugar, flour, eggs, and a wee bit of rum. What do we need to get this thing started? Okay, it's a very simple recipe. We have some room temperature butter. We're gonna put it in the big pot here. There we go. Don't waste any, it's good stuff. And then we're gonna finish, make it really smooth by using a fork. And you make like almost like a, a pomade, I guess, or something really smooth. So softer the better, the better? Yes. Can I put it in the microwave? No, you... <laughs> this is, well, unless you have a very vintage microwave, I guess, from the 1860s. Uh, okay, so that's that. Simple, but efficient. Now, almond flour. I'm gonna incorporate that a little bit at a time. Mike, put some apple so, juice in there. Yes. What's your favorite thing about this cake? Uh, well, the final result, the taste is wonderful. I'm a big fan of anything with almond flour in it. So. Now this was our friend Solange that made this, and it was like the best cake ever. Yeah, that with a little hot chocolate or coffee or tea or. I mean, this is like. Wonderful. Okay. Is there a reason why you don't use a mixer? Yeah, it, <laughs> it was not invented yet, I guess, for the purpose of this show. <laughs> but yeah, you could use a, a mixer. And, but this oh. way you make it with love, right? Oh yeah. Hands on love. And you probably, uh, if you use a mixer, Use it on a little speed so you don't mess up any of the ingredient. You don't want the almond flour to turn into a, something different, like almond butter. That would be bad. <laughs> so is this like a Christmas cake or do you guys make it any time? Uh, you're going to love it so much, you're going to do it anytime, all the time. This is extremely yummy to me anyway and apparently to Luan as well <laughs> so anyway up all the sugar is almost all in there all together okay now we're gonna incorporate four eggs one at a time I thought they were all gonna go <laughs> uh no Anyway, so this mix is going to, from rather tough and well, it's going to be really liquidy very quickly, which is good. Exactly what we need. Fresh from eggs, super colorful, love it. Yes, we're very fortunate to have a place where we can get fresh, free range. Happy chicken eggs. Look at that. It's like mustard yellow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, so the dough was like super firm before the eggs and now it's super smooth. Okay, and one more ingredient at this time. Is it, uh, is it one of those recipes, one for the chef, one for the bowl? Yeah, one of those. So three, 
Have this. Yeah, room, any room you like. You have around the house. We happen to like. Spicy. We, we like uh, spiced room. But any dark room, light room, any room. Could you use something else besides rum, do you think? Uh, you probably could. Like amaretto, maybe? Uh, yeah. I suppose, but it's already almondy, so I don't know, eventually. Anyway, so. I didn't think it could get too almond for your taste buds. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> so anyway, it looks like this. Soft picks. Is that soft picks? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Soft picks, you got it, honey. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's it. So now the next is to put it in a pre-greased parchment, you know, at the bottom. And just put all that in there. Okay, okay. So here, let me let me let me do this because <laughs> you're doing the guy thing. I think it has to be a little bit smoother. Sure. Yeah, paint it like, you know, make it flat. I saw you lick your fingers. Is it any good? Yeah. Okay, voila. And then we're going to bake it in an oven at 350 for about 55 minutes. Okay, so it's cooked about, oh my gosh, 40, 55 minutes, but it looks really brown, but I don't know. Is it done to you out there? Yeah, it is done. No, it's a little cushy yet. It's done. Oh, give it the poke test. But no. Okay, fine. <laughs> five okay, more minutes. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Okay, so it's cooked for about 60 minutes. And it looks pretty good. It's still a little warm. And Bear gets the honors of trying to get that bugger out of there. <laughs> so if it fails, it's his fault. Sure. Okay. You want to take it off that? No, that's fine. So, how many times have you done this? What part? made a cake you had to do that oh i don't know who's counting oh no Be gentle yes. there you go it's going up just feel that this little tug i'm gonna go all the way around okay what <laughs> Sounds good. Ta-da! Voila! Looks looking good. Looking really good. So it's gonna cool off some more? Yeah, we'll let it cool a bit more and then we'll put some powdered sugar and make it all fancy. Can't wait. <laughs> okay, so we put the cake on a pretty plate because tomorrow we want to have a real special day. Because it's Sunday, so we're gonna have some fun. And I think we should decorate it. And I don't like icing on my cake generally. I like the cake part, scrape off the icing. I don't know about you. It's, it's very American to do that. Yeah, icing is too sweet anyway. Yeah. Oof. So, but I do want to make it pretty. So to me, the easiest way to do that is to find a doily, because I have a lot of them, don't I? <laughs> and then uh, find what, a pattern that's going to work really well on your cake. Maybe not that one. Mm-hmm. Did you get that one? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you can just wash these afterwards, so it's no big deal. You want me to do the honors? Sure. Have you done this before? I may have. Tell me when. Wait, when? <laughs> Wait. Okay, so then you just gently, well, let's check. I mean, I can't believe it's not. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Fresh powder. Fresh powder. Pawala. Ta-da. Fancy cake, Christmas cake. Here we go. All right. Nice job, babe. You're welcome. Bon appétit. So it, we actually let the cake rest last night because it got so late, we thought it was a little too late for some dessert. So we're having it today, kind of as we planned. And I guess I'd like to know a little bit more about this cake. Uh, well, it seems that 
The Roman, when they invaded France or Gaul, like 2,000 years ago or so, they brought with them many things, and one of the things they brought was almond trees. Almond trees? Yes. Like wood leaves, trees? Okay. You know, with the almond. I know, but I can't hear so much. <laughs> <laughs> that accent. Anywho, so, and uh, very quickly, the, the Gauls, the French, future French, they discovered that they could do a lot of things with uh, almonds. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the very first uh, cake recipes that were invented, like, centuries and centuries ago um, this is the very basic one which is the pitivier fondant and which is normally uh, glazed with uh, uh yeah like a marzipan or like well some type of sugar frosting yeah sugar but frosting here we are frosting it don't need it it's way too sweet so we skip that and then eventually when uh puff pastry was invented centuries later they kept the, this and they covered it with puff pastry and then it evolved into the frangipane which became the galette des rois which is eaten the king's but it's called the king's cake yeah in english and usually eaten at christmas no after after christmas when the kings come right the wise those men. wise the wise guys, men guys. the wise guy is not a wise man anyway <laughs> so that's around that time but it's a different feeling but that was the the origin of it Okay. So, if you want a vintage recipe, that is it. It's a centuries old recipe. I mean, it's unbelievable. If you look it up, it's amazing how old it is. And, so, and, and if there was one recipe to take by myself on a desert island, that would be the one. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. It's awesome. And uh, we translated the recipe, so we will include it in the show notes in the video for you. Mm -hmm. But we've decided, or I should say, he decided we're going to have it with hot chocolate today. Yeah, like when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, let's get some of this cake cut first, shall we? Okay. All righty. And it's super, super moist. Yeah, it cuts like butter. Well, I think I need to stand up for this. This is a serious situation here. I really like the design of the powdered sugar on it. Yes, you did a nice job, honey. Yes. <laughs> well, it's not what I meant by that, but it's really <laughs> cool looking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me, give me, give me. Thank you. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And now we have chocolate with the old French chocolatier. It Which we the hot chocolate super hot. Brought back from uh, the family home in France and traveled with us many miles. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Bon appetit. All right. With take a bite. I want to know what you no, think. No, ladies first. Ladies first. Okay. Ladies <laughs> first. Mm -hmm. mm. It's all buttery and almond, and you don't really taste the. Well, maybe you do a little bit the of rum, but it's just faint. Well, it's very yeah. It's in the background because you could add some more. <laughs> but it is. It is so moist. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a big shout out to our friend in France, who um, really well introduced me to the cake. Mm -hmm. Bear has known it his whole life. Yeah. Plus, Pitivier, that's a little town that's about a little bit northeast of Orléans, south of Paris. And we lived there an hour away from that town when we had fun making this recipe with old friend. Very, very close. What? And you never took me there? No. Because Orléans was a much bigger place right. to have fun and whatnot. Right. And when you look at the map, Pitivier was just like, well, half an hour away from there. Well, so next time we go, we're going we there. Let's go. <laughs> check out the, visit. Check hey, out the local. I tell you what, <laughs> when we go there, we will make a video and perhaps we'll search out a place that makes this. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's the plan. And apparently, there is a third version of the PTVA, which is a savory one. And we may look savory at. Savory. For those who can't understand him like me. Um, <laughs> we'll look it up and maybe we'll try it. 
Success. It makes a great Christmas cake. Or maybe even um, for New Year's. It would be lovely. Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, thanks guys for joining us. We had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Like we always do. And we hope to bring you some more recipes. What do you think? Oh, yes. That was, fun? that was fun. Even for a shy French guy that I am. Now that I've got him <laughs> roped into it, I'm going to use him to the best of his abilities. <laughs> so stay tuned. We'll be bringing some soon. And bye-bye until next time. Au revoir. Au revoir.